U.S. sending 2,000 Marines to Israeli coast, America may join the Middle East war. The Pentagon has sent 2,000 Marines and soldiers to waters off Israel's coast as part of a show of force in the region, CNN reported citing unnamed U.S. officials. The move comes amid fighting between Israel and Palestinian militants, which has claimed thousands of lives this month. Led by the elite 26th Marine Expeditionary Unit, the Rapid Response Force is headed toward Israel on board the USS Bataan, an amphibious assault ship previously stationed in the Gulf of Oman, officials told the outlet on Monday. They did not specify the unit's exact destination or say if it would join two US carrier strike groups parked in the eastern Mediterranean. The naval deployments are reportedly meant to send a message of deterrence to Iran and the Lebanese militant group Hezbollah, and some of the US warships have recently patrolled waters near the Islamic Republic. Separately, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin ordered another 2,000 troops to gear up for a potential medical and logistical support mission in Israel, according to multiple news agencies. However, Pentagon staffers stressed that the order does not guarantee direct U.S. involvement in the conflict with the Gaza-based militant group Hamas, noting that the White House does not want to give the impression that American troops could become embroiled in a hot war. The Wall Street Journal, which first reported on the preparations, also stated that the troops would be tasked with advising and medical support and aren't intended to serve in a combat role. The 2,000 soldiers are now stationed across a wide area, including in the Middle East and Europe, but have been placed on notice to deploy within 24 hours if needed. Though officials said the move would be aimed at forestalling a wider regional war, the planning comes as some US lawmakers push for direct military action in the Middle East.